welcome to my channel crafts and kitchen today i'm gonna make wedge korma let's get started the first step is to make coconut cashew paste for that in a blender jar take one fourth cup of finely grated coconut seven to eight cashews one tablespoon roasted chana dal one teaspoon fennel seeds one fourth teaspoon poppy seeds four to five mint leaves and one third cup of water. Grind this into a smooth paste and keep this aside. Now the second step is to make the veg korma itself. For that into a pan add two tablespoons of oil and once the oil is hot add three cloves, one inch cinnamon and one crushed cardamom one bay leaf and a sprig of curry leaves. Stir once and then add one onion finely sliced. Saute until the onion turns translucent. Add two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste and saute that until the raw smell of it goes away. Now add one finely chopped tomato. Stir everything well. Add 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, and 1 teaspoon garam masala. Mix everything well and then add 1 4 cup of water and salt to taste. Now mix everything well and then cover the lid and cook for around 2 minutes until the tomato turns mushy. Now it's time to add the vegetables. I'm using cauliflower, carrot, french beans and green peas. Use at least 4 to 5 vegetables so that it gives a good taste. Now mix everything well and add half a cup of water. Cover and cook for around 5 minutes. Add ground coconut cashew paste and one cup of water. Mix everything well. Adjust the salt. Cover the lid and cook for around 10 minutes. After that, open the lid and sprinkle chopped coriander. Give everything a good mix and cover the lid and cook for around five minutes on medium flame. After five minutes, mix everything well and the veg kurma is ready to be served. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you next time. Until then, keep watching my other videos.